This is where we left off in the previous video. We mounted plant cells and animal cells on slides to observe them under the microscope. Let's study them in general in this video. For our convenience, let's select just one. Say the onion peel cells to understand the structure and the contents of the cell. Roughly, we've seen these thick, distinct borders that differentiate each cell from the other one. Then we have these tiny dark spots scattered all over. Also, we can spot this prominent circular structure here, which is very darkly stained. Any idea what these things are? Well, these are the cell constituents. Let's get introduced to each. This outer margin seen here is called the cell wall. If we zoom in a bit, we notice that there is another layer in the inner side of this cell wall. This is called the cell membrane. Yes, the outer wall is the cell wall and the inner layer is called the cell membrane. The cell membrane is also referred to as the plasma membrane. It is porous in nature. So what does porous mean? It simply means that any material can move in and out of the plasma membrane. But isn't that dangerous? Of course it is. But the simple solution lies in the nature of the plasma membrane. That is because it is selectively permeable. So what does selectively permeable mean here? Just like a guard standing at the office door who allows only members with the identity cards to enter and exit, the plasma membrane also allows only specific materials to move across. We will look at this in details in our upcoming videos. This was just to understand how the plasma membrane is selectively permeable. Now let's move ahead to know about the cell wall. Do you think all cells have cell walls? Well, the answer is a no. That's because animal cells do not have cell walls. An animal cell only has the plasma membrane and not the cell wall. The cell walls act as protectors for plant cells. It's composed of a non-living rigid structure that is cellulose. It not only acts as a protector, but also gives a proper shape to the plant cells. It also helps in cell-to-cell -cell interactions and provides a barrier to undesirable macromolecules. It protects, it gives shape to the cells and it helps in cell-to-cell -cell interactions. Clearly, the cell wall is a very important part of the plant cell structure. Now let's get into this lighter region here. This lighter region is the cytoplasm. It's a jelly-like substance filling up the cell space. And these tiny parts in the cytoplasm are the organelles. And what exactly are they? Just like the human body has different organs, the cell has various organelles. And just like the organs, each organelle performs a different function. Let's study each organelle and its functions in our upcoming videos.